The 32nd Dame Awards held in Lagos on Sunday with the chairman and editor-in-chief of These Day and Arise Media Group, Untuka Obaikbena, being honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award. Obaikbena joined 31 other prominent and distinguished Nigerians, dead and living, who have been honored with the highest echelon of the awards. According to the organizers, Obaikbena is honored owing to his contributions to the development of the media landscape and free expression in the country. Former managing director of the Guardian newspaper and another former managing director of the Sun newspapers, Mike Awoyinfa, were also honored with the Dame Fellowship Awards. The awards were also given out to journalists and media organizations in 18 other categories. But this year we saw there is no denying that the society in which we live certainly needs the media to give it the necessary direction, the necessary guidance. Um, and if we do it in an honest way, um, uh, we, we'll be able to address these problems better than uh, we have done to date. Aside from the constitutional mandate giving the media to monitor governance and um, uphold responsibility, of the government to, to the people. We also have a personal responsibility as individuals to try and put our best foot forward. Now, why have we been doing this um, uh, ceremony year in, year out? And this is the 32nd edition. We do so because we realize the importance of the media. We do so because we believe that there should be a culture of appreciation. I salute all those with whom I've had the privilege of collaborating to make Nigeria better through journalism. I remember registering as a journalist in 1978 as you have to register as a member of the NUJ, the then Secretary General, Joe Badike, began. So this is 45 years after. I started as a cartoonist. Because I did creative arts, I've done everything in journalism. I've been a photographer. I've printed the pictures. I've designed the paper, I've done lithography, I've done everything. And to be a great journalist, you have to build sources. Without sources, your journalism cannot be strong. My journey, therefore, to building sources began in Open State and may he so rest in peace with that we see another angel whom I learned on his feet. He was later to be our columnist at this week, Royal Yaye Koto column. Through Bishop Novanjo, I was able to get into the home of the Awolo, which Chief Adebanjo and all the rest. And we built sources such that when our Lord died, we were front and center in doing some of the best magazine this country had ever seen. I remember the cover of the Our Lord death. If not me, who? We wrote the story, Tundi Lagna, Larry Do, and Co were stationed at Ikene, we took the pictures, covered the funeral on that Saturday afternoon, flew it to London and Nigeria Airways on Saturday night, printed on Sunday in St. Jude's in London, flew it back to Nigeria Airways to Kakawa on Monday morning, and delivered some great journalism. 